Anyway, so where's Utah? Smoke salmon. Can't do the biggest one. Yeah! Oh, this is from Salt Lake City. We only thought it'd be normal to go touch the Salt Lake. Good morning. Katie and I are at the grocery store. It's raining outside. And mom didn't bring her wallet. And I totally forgot my wallet. So I'm not sure if I can even go buy groceries now. We're going to see if they have Apple Pay. I brought the two important things, the camera and my phone, but no wallet. So yeah, we're gonna go see if they take Apple Pay. What do you I guys think? I would wallet under pretty important. It is pretty important. I would say it's number three. <laughs> In this case, it's number one. It would have been more important to have my wallet than my camera. Because if I had my wallet, there wouldn't be any news to share on the camera. I'd be like, oh, we just come to the grocery store and buy our food like we're supposed to. But now... Oh, don't even act like you did this on purpose. I did not do it on purpose. <laughs> I totally didn't do it on purpose. That's my point. Like, if I if I brought my wallet and didn't have my camera, I'd be like, it's nothing to record. But now that I have my camera, it's like, huh? I wish I had my wallet. <laughs> All right, we're going to brave the rain and go see if they'll um, go beg them to take out the bite. Bye. Here we go. Woo! Fired up. So here we are. It is another day in which to excel. Just like my shirt says, another day in which to excel. We're going to have another great day in the Chrysler Pacifica. What are we doing? Luge. Going to a luge thing? Lugeing it up. Brandon, okay. could you lean in just a little bit? Everybody give a thumbs up. Um, anyway, so we're in Utah and they have this like winter Olympics kind of center because they do a lot of skiing and stuff here in Utah. Well, and the Salt Lake City Olympics in 2002. Well, yeah. The Winter Olympics in 2002 were in Salt Lake City. Anyway, so they do this thing called the luge. And if you don't know what the luge is, it's basically... Sledding. Like, no, it's <laughs> insane sledding. But you're like, you lie down on this board and it has like kind of ice skates at like the bottom of it. And they have this ice track. It's like bobsledding. If you guys have ever seen, uh, what's it called, uh, Cool Runnings. I don't know, but you probably haven't. But, uh, <laughs> so the luge, like, you lay down and you go down this ice thing and it's super, like, it, like, it's crazy. Uh, they do it in the Olympics. So That's, next time, we it's intense Olympics. sledding on your back. Yeah, Let, pretty much. Let's go hunt it down. We'll see how it goes. Here we go. Good news. He said yes. They take out the bag. Smoke salmon. salmon. <laughs> Three watermelons. <laughs> Three watermelons. Two things of chicken. Oh, you're getting a call. Oh, I am. Oh, from Carol. Hold on one second. Oh, wait. All right. So this is the deal. So Brennan isn't even in town yet. He comes back tomorrow. But we have a visiting water polo team from Coronado. Can we California. explain this when we're not, when we're, when we're, when we're not in the restaurant or the grocery store? store. The grocery store? Okay. Anyway, so they're coming and we are hosting two of those water polo players, even though Brennan's not home yet. So they're going to stay with us tonight. And then tomorrow, Brennan will be home. So they'll stay tomorrow night and the next night as well. So I'm buying some food for them. We're going to go over to um, our friend's house and have a cookout with the rest of the team tonight. So um, even though Brennan's not here, so, we're just representing Brennan. I think we should get this. Right. this. Bye. Bye. Man. We're in Park yeah, City. Look, that's an air thing. You come down and you hit the air thing. See that? They got a big cushion of air. Uh-huh. This sounds expensive. <laughs> this is where the best of the best train right here in Park City, Utah. Tries. Five dollars each. No. <laughs> Ninety-nine dollars. Get one run. <laughs> I think this is one of those gotta do, right? Utah Olympic Park. You just park there? And this is, I think, where they had the, uh... Some kind of Olympic. The ski, <laughs> the ski jump, I think, uh... There's a luge. In 2002. There's a luge right there. Oh, oh that's so cool. Hey! You had to manivac you out of here. <laughs> it even has a red cross on it. Do they have ambulances here, just in case?
thing on the back of wasn't his. I didn't do it. Yeah, I didn't do it. Oh, well, I was sitting on the I think it's more exciting for Ryan just because he's a little bit smaller, but I think the, the K90 is the next one. Yeah. That one should be a little bit more like that. Okay, Ryan, Brennan, and Ray are up in that zip line way up the hill. They are about to zip down and see if we can catch them. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, hello. Uh, I am at the bottom of the big zip line. So there's a little zip line and a big zip line. But you have to be 100 pounds with the big one. I'm like 86 to 90. So uh, I can't do the big zip line. I'm not salty at all. I can't do the big fun one. I'm not salty. It's fine. It's fine. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Uh, but anyway, Brendan and Ray are heading up the ski lift right now to go to the big one. Uh, and I'm going to video that. So yeah. Uh, also, Dad went to get McDonald's for lunch for us, so shout out to him, thanks. Uh, so it's just me, Brendan, and Ray at the park right now. After this uh, run that they're gonna do, things just keep interrupting me. The wind, now the zip lines going back up. So anyway, we're gonna go to the other half of the park, uh, which has like the bobsledding and all the all those cool things. Um, uh, over here is more like the ski jumps and the tubing and the zip lines. Over there is like ropes courses and stuff. So we're gonna do some advanced ropes courses. Those are gonna be really fun. And uh, whatever else we can find up there. So yeah, looking forward to it. Also, there's a really cool drop tower where you like harness in and you like drop like 50 feet, but it's like still really fast. It's 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 cool. Well, we'll see. All right, guys. So uh, pretty exciting news. Not really actually. That was fantastic. Um, I called Brennan. Uh, I'm like, so I've texted him twice. Uh, he said uh, his cellular is not working, uh, but I didn't know that, so I called him, and I don't know how the call went through, because when I was on the call with him, he's like, yo, my cellular is not working, nothing's like loading, my Snapchat's not loading or anything. So uh, I, I don't really know how we got the call through, but anyway, I called him, and I'm like, yo, are you close? Like, how many people? So uh, they have to like, like bring people down. They do like two at a time, I think, so that's perfect for them. So they do like, there's like four lines and they do like two and then uh and then they bring it back up and then they go that and bring it back up i think i i think but they do like a pattern and there's only like one harness uh per line so he said there's like a lot of people in front of him and it takes like 30 in his words it takes like 30 years for another harness to get back up so uh so i'm gonna be sitting here for a while i might try to find some shade because it is sunny out here. I have some sunscreen on, but still, man. I mean, we're up in Utah, up in the mountains, and the sun, is, the sun rays, like, are different here. So, yeah. Uh, huh. I just want some lunch, honestly. <laughs> there they are, going up the zip line, or at the ski lift. If you guys can see them, they are all the way up there. Two white little blobs. And they're almost up there. Uh, so, there's a line coming all the way over here. And then it ends right over there. It's been like 10 to 15 minutes here. Hopefully dad's almost back. It's uh, it's, it's been uh, pretty uh, pretty exciting here. Just chilling by myself. Uh, but Brendan and Ray should be coming down uh, really soon, so that's good. And then we're gonna eat lunch and then we're gonna do a rope tour. So what's to be said about it? Ryan, why are you like walking away like the things up there? So uh, dad just texted me and he's like, yo, I have the food. I just put it over the parking lot. If you want to come out, you can come out. So I'm gonna head out to the front of the park, get some food, come back, and watch them go down and go to the ropes courses. It's gonna be amazing. What is up? Uh, we, uh, no, I just got McDonald's and I walked back. Now we're back down here. Brennan called me, he's like, yo, there's like, uh, like a couple people left until us, like five to 10 minutes at max and stuff. So I'm back down here. I kind of mini like sprinted down here to see him go. I saw one group come down and I haven't seen them around here yet. Um, so I hope they're like the next two or three groups. Let's see. Yo, this squirrel just came right up to me. What's up, dude? Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I have no idea what he's doing. He's running back and forth. Look at him. Look at this guy. Look, I'm right here. He's there. If I take a step towards a squirrel in Maryland, they think I'm trying to kill it. Oh my gosh. Literally just came right up to me. 
than they are. <laughs> so easy to recognize because they're both wearing white shirts and that's really helpful. How was it? Was it worth the worth the hour wait? We <laughs> <laughs> were talking we like, we can't think of one thing that would be worth an hour wait. Yeah. It's uh... Like space Mountain that's the only thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, I mean, and that's always an hour wait. Probably, I'd say a minute before you guys came down, this squirrel, yo, <laughs> like a striped squirrel, really comes a out from under the... You sure it wasn't a marmot? <laughs> No, it was a squirrel. It was like a mini squirrel. A squirrel. It was like a black, it had like a black stripe. Um, comes from under the bleachers. It just comes right up to me. I was like, Yo, what's up, didn't he? Just like ran around me for a little bit. I, I, I had no idea what he was doing. Or do you think what? he was gonna bite you? And you're gonna... Like, the, no, no, he was chilling. He like came running to my shoe, and he's like, he just looked up at me and ran, he ran on your away. shoe. You let him run on no, your no, shoe. No, no, not on my shoe. Like close to my shoe. Bro, that's a wild <laughs> animal, bro. Exactly. <laughs> he was so cute. What if it's a raccoon? <laughs> he was so cute. No. You're like a striped squirrel. You need a raccoon. No, that has uh, it was just no, it you. was very small. Uh, uh, but he was so cute. No, bro. No, it wasn't a rat raccoon. So it had a tail. Right? Did it have tail? Yes, it it have tail. rings on his tail? I don't know. Oh. No, it wasn't black and white. But anyway, it have stripes, no, it is it, isn't isn't this true? Yeah, if you like... no, if you take a step towards a squirrel in Maryland, it thinks you're trying to kill it. Facts. Yeah, that's true. But, but he that's just came probably right up what you should expect from behavior from squirrels. So if one doesn't act like that, it could have a disease. Shut up. Probably. He was cute. Shut up. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are in Salt Lake City. Oh, we just got out of the Olympic complex sports thing. We went and showed the room, but now. Uh, since we're in Salt Lake City, we only thought it'd be normal to go touch the Salt Lake, you know, because we're here. So we're on the car, on the Chrysler Pacifica, and we're going to touch the Salt Lake. So well, yeah, see you there. Also, we brought our mitts, so we might play some catch. Zion Williamson. Oh yeah. No way. What? Are you kidding me? I can't believe it. They they got Zion. What? The most explosive anyway, guys, ever uh, seen so uh, by the way, Salt Lake's right there, uh, but we're listening to the uh, NBA draft on the speakers in the Pacifico, which are amazing. The audio is amazing in here. Um, and yeah, so uh, New Orleans Pelicans just picked up Zion. They traded Anthony Davis to the Lakers, though. Uh, now they have LeBron and Anthony Davis. That's going to be interesting. Anyway, guys, uh, we're going to touch Salt Lake. We just wanted to hear that. So, yeah. Okay, so we're out of the car. Dad and Mr. Hooper are over there. Yeah, right over here. Brennan's coming in and taking it, but it smells horrible. Oh, I was like, why are there no big buildings or like houses on the Salt Lake? Now I, I can see why now, because why would you want to smell it? <laughs> oh, it smells so salty. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, I might throw up. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, here we are. You know, it's only, it's only 13 feet deep. In a few hours, 35. Like it's it's not okay. By the way, this is not a deep lake. It's usually 13 feet deep, but sometimes 35 feet. But you think it's like oh, like hundreds of feet. Right. It's like it's like a huge lake. Look at this. Oh, oh, Craziest. Yeah. Let's go touch it. And get out of here. All right, all right, now it's all over. <laughs> this thing is like, touching the lake. how I feel right there. <laughs> Look at the cat. Seriously. Edward. Hi, buddy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. I know you're tired. I get it. Okay. <laughs> Look at that belly. You're so cute. Good night, sweet dreams. I love you. All right. Katie and I came home. Anyway, so we came home and vegged out and just 
Oh my goodness, tried to recover from the from the past couple of days. It was very busy, so Kate's already asleep. I am gonna share what made me happy today. I think what made me happy today was definitely um, reflecting back over the last couple of days and how fun they were, and making it home safe and sound. So, you guys, I know the boys are having a good time. They're in Park City, Utah right now. Oh, one of my favorite places. So, comment below what made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.